Hello homeowners. Thought I'd do a short video today on a water barrel that I just set up. This is on my shed. It's got a real small roof here. It's only three feet wide and 14 feet long. So not a lot of square footage. I got a 30 gallon uh, barrel here. I made a rain barrel. And uh, if you can see the top here, I put a screen put a screen here so all my helicopters from my maple trees won't go in it and uh, no mosquitoes will get down in there and I put a put a valve at the bottom high enough off a of brick so I can get a bucket under there and then this little deal is a this is just a a valve here just a open just an open 90 that I can I can run away if if this barrel overflows we got an inch of rain the other day, and one inch of rain on, on that little roof gave me 25 gallons out of that barrel. So if that barrel overflows, it's going to undermine the bricks, and the ground's going to get soft, and the barrel will fall over. Um, and for my purposes, this is enough this is enough rainwater that I need, so I don't need to set up a second barrel. But I'm just going to dump dump the overflow out into the yard just to get it away from the base. Um, but yeah, this little shed's pretty nice. It's a it's a 10 feet deep by 14 wide, and uh, just got that going here in Illinois. Here's my little garden. Of course, I set the set the uh, shed in my garden, so now I got half the size that I've always had. But uh, tomatoes and pepper plants here. This is my asparagus. It's been producing pretty good. Uh, need to need to fill up the dead spots. No big deal. All this leafy stuff here is horseradish. I can that in the fall. Late, late fall. There's another rain barrel I got off the back side of the roof. That roof's a little bit bigger. That'd be about 11 feet wide and 14 feet long. And I uh, got a spigot on the bottom and uh, I got the overflow tube I just set up today and uh, so there's that's pretty slick I think but uh, I'm learning every day so hope this helps somebody out just for the way we set things up keep the mosquitoes out put a screen on top but uh, yeah so uh, getting things together early early summer here very late spring has been hot though so and I got a few painted my giraffes this spring so I got those on the porch I think that looks all right there's a big wind chime I made it's got a nice tone a little wind maybe I can make it make it have a little sound here Maybe I can make it have a little more sound. Let's see here. That's okay. Yeah, so that's the... That's the, uh, living the life here in overtaxed Illinois. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. I'll make another video. Thank you.